guys, we are back with another video here, and this is a final goodbye to NHL 17. Honestly, probably my favorite game on the next gen, honestly. Uh, that or 20 is definitely a tough one, but uh, 17 to me really had a lot of memories for me with a lot of friends, and uh, it was definitely a game that I thoroughly enjoyed. So we're going to say goodbye to NHL 17 today as the servers do go down June 5th, just like NHL 15, 16, 17, and 18, and actually NHL 14. I'll have videos on all of those games before June 5th, all right? So uh, let's hop in to NHL 17 right now. So here we are on NHL 17. We're gonna press the A button and let's load into NHL 17. Something that NHL 17 had that I thought was pretty cool, honestly, was the customizable menus. Uh, the fact that you could choose your favorite team and then it would show uh, like those those players, right? So there it is, attention. We are sorry, but the service for this title are shutting down on June 5th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you very much for playing. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm talking about is this. So, you, have, you see you have Camilleri. Uh, it, it's just like a customized thing. Like So, it, you have a player. So, Camilleri is the devil's player they used. But, um, yeah, I mean, what a, what a game. What a game. What a game. Uh, basically, I mean, online versus. You have online shootouts. Uh, world, you know, ESHL wasn't really World of Shell yet. Online team play is still out. Online 6v6. Be a pro was still really whatever. Nothing really to it. Franchise mode. This is actually the year they implemented owner mode. And a lot of different things they added into franchise mode. Season mode was still in there. Playoff mode was still in there. They actually had the World Cup of Hockey mode as well. That was pretty fun to be a part of and play. Offline shootout and then practice mode. And then, of course, what a lot of you guys are here for. Hockey Oh, and Draft Champions, don't forget that. This is actually the year they actually like put effort into Draft Champions. But anyway, let's go into Hockey Ultimate Team, all right? Hockey Ultimate Team. We're sorry, the servers are shutting down. I can't wait for that message to come up. Oh, no, I, I think we're actually in. EA is actually letting us in. I can't believe it. But uh, here we go. Here we go. NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team. So I have 3,000 coins right now in the auction house. That's not very good, unfortunately. Item inbox, we got 22 cards here. I'm not sure... What's in there? I got I got Malk and 92 overall. Nolan Patrick. That's pretty funny. Nolan Patrick bronze card. Kevin Gravel. Nick Felino. Jonathan Taze. Van Riemsdyk. Galagoski. Moore. Who are these people? Fed a tank on week. That's funny. Contracts. You don't forget those guys. Contracts. Those hit different all right then you have the collections this is the first year they actually implemented sets as well sets were never in nhl until this year all right then they have uh this is a lot going on wow guys kind of a crazy concept there is so much to play ea we have okay we have online seasons okay we have single player seasons we have draft champions we have uh another thing here this is uh i believe this is competitive seasons yeah competitive seasons so we have competitive seasons draft champions uh regular uh regular uh just uh what's it called seasons so i mean like you have competitive seasons online seasons draft champions like i i don't know i mean i mean obviously nowadays we have rivals as well but and there was no hot champs yet hot champs didn't come until nhl 18 but still i feel like i don't know there's just more to play i don't know maybe i'm crazy but uh, less for the offline player, but so much for the online player. Oh, there's my team. There's the uh, the auction house, buy, sell, unopen packs, the store. What do they got in the store? Not many coins. I mean, I could maybe try to get some coins. Currently, there's nothing in the store really of value. I could buy maybe these uh, gold packs, but that's really about it. Um, other than that, that's kind of the packs. Uh, but let's look at my team, guys. Let's see what my team was looking like when I stopped playing NHL 17 for the final time. And it's a good one, clearly. We got Patrick Line, a 95 overall here. Uh, this is a draft card. Mike Richards Christmas card. I mean, that is a card right there. That is a card. We got Vladimir Tarasenko team of the year card. This card was ridiculous, I remember. Such a, such a good card and a fun card to use. Uh, then we got the Jesse Pogliarvi as well, 95 overall draft card. And then this Trevor Linden, oh my, Team Wheel and, and Trevor Linden, that card was just something else. He was so, so good, Trevor Linden. I don't know what it was about him. I, mean, I guess maybe because he's 6'4", that, that, that'll probably do it, honestly. But he was such a fun card and probably the best uh, legend card, I guess, to use this year. Maybe hero card, you could call it, too. I got lucky out the Christmas Malkin as well. 93 overall edition here. He is super, super good. I love that card. Movember, Claude Giroux as well. Giroux is very, very fun to use. Uh, Derek, Roy, Halloween card. Pavel Bure. This card, 
I miss Burray so much. A lot of people miss Burray. He was so, so fun to use. And the thing is, I feel like back at, at this time, speed wasn't really that easy to get. Like, not everybody had 99 speed. So, Burray always felt different, you know? Especially at launch, because Burray would be obviously the fastest player in the game. He felt like an advantage, and that was really fun. So, Pavel Burray, what a card. And uh, it sucks that he's not around anymore. Then we got the fourth line of Pat LaFontaine, a hot hero. Uh, LaFontaine was a pretty fun card to use as well. I liked him a lot, so LaFontaine definitely was a good one. Then we got Scott Gomez, flashback card, 92 overall here. Uh, pretty pretty decent card, I'm not going to lie. Pretty decent card. Uh, then we got Marcus Johansson, Devils card here. I believe this is like a free agency or trade deadline card or whatever it was at the time. Defense, then. His defense is really, really cracked, I remember. I love. I always loved building a really good defense back then. That was like my favorite thing to always do. Eric Carlson, 99 overall Movember card. Back in the day here in the EA program, we were allowed to select one free Movember card. That wasn't like Crosby or Ovechkin. I knew it was going to be a smart one to choose him, and he was he was something else. Chris Pronger, 97 overall. Are you kidding me? 99 speed, 6'6". Six, six. Ridiculous card. So fun to use. The shot was insane as well. I love Pronger's card. Uh, then we got Shankirk, Team of the Year as well. He was awesome to use. Kevin Shankirk, Mark Giordano, Team of the Year also was awesome to use. Dan Boyle flashback card so so fun to use 96 damn boil and then thomas caverly caverly i don't think it was in a hut after this either i think it was caverly's last year in the game as well he was a fun card to use he was and my goaltender is ben bishop movember that's a funny one curtis joseph uh 92 overall as well that was good for like synergies remember dirty dangler definitely funny to see these synergies dirty dangler passing playmaker wicked wristers offensive juggernaut speedsters net from presence Face-off master, heavy hitter, iron shins, one-timer efficiency, cycle game, long-range bombers, tape the tape, team wheel, team shot blocking, it's a trap, unstoppable force, immovable object, clean checker, call the shot, shoot first, 200-foot player, takeaway king, line brawlers, x-ray vision, and power. So some of these are actually still uh, in the game now, actually, in HUD, so pretty funny to see that. Um, but I, 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 let's look back at uh, this season here. Let's see what this was, all right? So this is, I'm assuming, a competitive season. What kind of rewards are we getting here, yeah? All right, so see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, why is this not a thing anymore? Season rewards, you get these players. Pronger, Subban, Weber. So the top five get players, all right? And then you get these, you have packs. Like, why not, literally? Why is this not a thing anymore? Round one, and then you also get different players as well. Hodgson, like, lower-end guys, and then eventually they get better and better, right? So Keith, Hall, like, I, I don't know. Like, why is this not a thing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be mad, guys. I'm sorry. It, it, just, it just gets me mad to see this because it's such a simple thing that could be done, but they just they didn't want to do it. They just didn't want to do it. Um, so like, all these players are not in the game anymore. Franz and Tange, Havlitz, Savard, and Len Lupel. Wow, it's crazy how so much changes in five years, right? But it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely just, I, I wonder. I really do. I really wonder sometimes of, uh, of why, you know, some things are the way they are in current Hockey Ultimate Team. But anyway, let's see the auction house. Are there any cards on the market right now? In June of 2022. Two. Matthew Kachuk and John Muse. That's pretty funny. Shout out to this guy. I mean, oh, there's actually two, these are two different people, believe it or not. So that's pretty funny, honestly. Respect to you. Respect to you for grinding at this point. I definitely can respect that. All right, guys, let me see if I can now, you know, claw away some, some coins and open a pack. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, we just quick sold pretty much everyone we needed to. And now we can open one of the last packs here. All right, so here's my collection as well. If you guys wanted to see it here, nothing too crazy. Uh, I got Tom, Thomas Shabbat. I have this Jacob Larson card. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy here that I got. Just kind of like, you know, average cards. And then there's some higher end ones here. Jonathan Drew and Madness. Getting Movember Barkov, Bernier. Uh, nothing nothing too insane. Panera and the Blackhawks. Larkin, Provorov, Team of the Week. Uh, Duchesne, that card's always so good. Barrett Jackman, Johansson. Paul Bissonnette, 90 overall. Uh, again, just some flashback guys. Roby Da, Kane, Malkin, Havlat. Um, that's really it. Nothing else to be too crazy about. But here we go. Let's go to the store now to buy the last pack that I'm ever going to open in NHL 17. A true farewell now to NHL 17. A fun game. I mean, I, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. And uh, here we go. I guess I'll do the I guess I'll do the expansion plus. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So um, why not? Whatever. There's really no difference. Open now. Here we go. What do we got in our last pack of NHL 17? Gustafson, Hutchinson, 
Reeves, Neuwirth, Johnny Boychuk, and Petrovic. There you go, guys. There you go. Even then, packs are not good. You hate to see it. All right, well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you do leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique3Es. Enjoy Discord. Talk to me. Follow the subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.